वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी ए ट्वेल्थ क्लास इंग्लिश फॉर्म माई मदर एट सिक्सटी सिक्स रिटन बाय कमला दास डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द फॉर्म लेट्स डिस्कस अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द पॉइंट कमला दास पॉपुलरली नोन बाय हर फैन नेम Madhuvi Kutti was an Indian English poetess as well as a leading Malayalam author from Kerala, India. She was also a widely read columnist and wrote on diverse topics including women's issue, child care and politics. She is recognized as one of India's foremost poets. Her works are known for originality, versatility and indigenous flavor of the soil. Kamala Das published many novels and short stories in English and Malayalam under the name Madhuvi Kutti. Her popular works in English includes the novel Alphabet of Lust, a collection of short stories Padmavati the Halot and other stories in addition to five books of poetry She received number of awards including Sahitya Academy award She was a sensitive writer who captured the complex subtleties of human relationship in her writings My mother at 66 is an example of that On 31st May 2009 Aged 75 she died at a hospital in Pune Students let's talk about the poem's theme The poem is based on the theme natural process of aging human relationship and separation or fear of loss The poem composed in blank verse expresses the anguish of a daughter over her mother's advancing age and the fear of permanent separation from her the poem engages with a plethora of mingled emotions ranging from love pain nostalgia and sadness despair students let's start the explanation of the poem the poet says driving from my parents home to coach in last friday morning i saw my mother beside me the poetess explains that once when she visited her parents house in cochin it was a friday when she was driving back to the airport her mother was sitting beside her in the car she looked at her mother the poet says those open mouth her face ashen like that of a corpse and i realized with pain she saw that her mother was sleeping and her mouth was open she further explains that the color of her mother face was ashen like that of a corpse means dead body Here the poetess is expressing her worries about growing age of her mother. Color of her mother's face has lost its charm and looking like the face of a dead body. Poetess further further says that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting. the merry children spilling out of their homes the poetess realized that her mother had grown old but soon she realized and she tried to get rid of this sad thought by diverting her thoughts towards the trees outside the young trees although seems to be running very fast as though they were sprinting she also saw children running out of their houses 
All these things were full of life and energy, contrary to her mother. This transition from the stillness of the dozing mother to the frivolity and moment of youth through a single glance is simply remarkable. The literary device of contrast is uh, used here to bring out the distinctive feature of the two different worlds, separated by a window pane, one with the infirmity of old age and the other tinted with the prolic of youth. The moment of the trees and children is in sh sharp contrast with the dozing posture of the mother. Pontus says, but after the airport's security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her, vain, pale. When the speaker looks at her mother standing a few yards from her at the airport security check, the mother's face is described by the simile, vain, pale as late winter moon. A brilliant imagery of the winter moon is used in this part of the poem. Poetess sees as late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. On seeing her mother, the poetess experiences that familiar old ache or pain of losing her mother. Though she doesn't uh, specifically state what it is actually, but we can infer that it is the fear of losing her mother. Winter is used to evoke a sense of an ending, like the age in mother, a certain frigid, inert state, like that of corpse, and the inevitable darkness, death. That is to follow. Also, moon has received a feminine treatment and the simile as a pale moon is perfectly suitable to describe the round pale face of the aged mother. Poetess says, but all I said was, see you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. The poetess tries to hide her feeling of losing her mother. All she can do is to depart from her mother with the hope of seeing her again. She fears that she will not see her mother again. The intermingling of emotions of love, hope, longing, nostalgia, fear and a sense of helplessness at the face of the inevitable seems to find its way in the repetition of the final words of the poem. All I did was smile and smile and smile. What smile, smile, smile expresses here three different contexts. First smile can be taken as realization of not spending time with mother by the poetess. Secondly, it's used to show a brave front of the poetess, as she don't want to reveal her pain in front of her mother. And third shows a feel of optimism meeting the mother once again. Students, let's talk about the poetical devices used in the poem. First of all, imagery used in the poem is suggestive of both death and youth. Poetess created two different images. Old mother creating an image of death and dullness and on the other hand, merry children creating an image of energy and life. Simile, comparing two things using as or like. Example, face ashen like cops. As late winter moon. Metaphor, and in direct comparison, children spelling. Next, personification, giving human quality to something non-human. Here, trees sprinting. Next one, reputation. Smile and smile and smile. 
Students, I hope you have understood the poem. I request you to watch this video once again for a better understanding of the poem. And I hope you have subscribed my channel so that you do not miss your important upcoming videos. Students, thanks and good luck. See you soon.